Good morning, everybody. Happy April 10th, 2023. So we've got three uh, oils for us this morning. Um, we are, uh, the full moon was on the 6th, so that was good. Um, we are kind of heading away from that. And um, we are uh, close enough getting to the eclipse season, um, which is coming up. So this is a nice little respite right before um, for us to uh, really sink more into ourselves and uh, kind of gather some strength. Um, beginning of spring and um, the weather is this kind of up and down transition time. So um, again, this is a great time to be strengthening ourselves. So the first oil up is guaiac wood. This is like a cousin of um, Palo Santo. So it's a great uh, cleanser of space. Um, I'm putting it on my wrists and then I'm gonna also put it on my uh, third eye. I always wanna keep that third eye nice and cleaned up, that window into myself and my intuition nice and clean uh, and then I'll put it on the back of my neck so it's the oil of self-discovery uh, and it's very supportive when we're feeling overwhelmed um, or lost or confused or out of sorts so it reminds us we are known it brings us right back into our strength hey Re, good to see you um, and so it reminds us we're known and we're worthy and to step more fully into our potential um, and into that flow of ourselves where we feel so good when we are back in ourselves. Um, true peace comes when we connect to what we are running from. That is a big message from Guayac Wood. True peace comes from when we connect to what makes us feel uncomfortable. So that's a great one. Next one up is basil. I love basil. It's the oil of renewal. And um, this one I'm gonna put on my throat and also on my wrists. Um, the smell brings strength to the heart and relaxation to the mind. It brings rejuvenation of vital forces after long periods of exhaustion, fatigue, and burnout. It strengthens the adrenals and restores our natural rhythms of sleeping, activity, and rest. So this is one that is great if you even wanna put it right over your adrenal glands, which are on top of your kidneys. You can put some in your hands and kind of lay them over your kidneys. Um, which is kind of your uh, mid-back area. So uh, it really helps to balance our cortisol levels and, um, and like, like it says, it helps to relax the mind. Okay, next one up is grapefruit. And grapefruit is the oil of honoring the body. So again, I'm gonna put that on our throat and kind of down into our high heart. I can find it. Um, it helps us to respect and appreciate the messages and information that we're getting from our bodies. Um, like when we're feeling exhausted or tired to, um, or out of sorts, to feel into that, to stop, to breathe, to feel into that, and to not continue to push when we are feeling like this is too much and your body is giving you that information. It helps us to respect our bodies, which is like the best biofeedback system uh, ever. Uh, it was given to us as a gift, this biofeedback, this information or communication. You know, it's, um, I have, uh, wonderful patients that I work with and some of them are like I wish my body wasn't so responsive or so um, 
intuitive at giving me information. And I was like, this is a blessing. It is not a bad thing to, to be given that information and then to be able to act on it is the critical thing to slow down, to rest. We move at a pace, especially now, that is just not sustainable for many. So it encourages us to listen um, and to have integrity with our bodies, minds, um, and higher selves. So that's what we've got this morning. Um, no crystals, no cards, nothing else was coming in. I kept trying to do something else and kept getting blocked. So here we are. I hope you have a beautiful Monday. Uh, guayac wood, basil, and grapefruit. Enjoy. If you have any questions, um, let me know. And um, if you are interested in coming to the daily practice, it's tonight at um, 8.15. You can sign up on my website, drmara.net. And if you're interested in having a deep dive uh, session with me, 45-minute um, session, then you can also sign up on my website for that. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Good to see you.